Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below. And we'll be more than glad to do it. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for 17,000 subscribers. You guys are just the best. I hope you guys are doing alright. And may you stay blessed. And a big shout out to everyone that keeps on giving us stuff to react to. Keeps liking our videos. Keeps sharing them. Keeps watching them. Thank you very much. You guys are just, like I said, you're the best. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And a big shout out to those that are going to um, subscribe after this. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. They suggested I react to one god. Um, so yeah, so without wasting time, let's get into the video. Why can't we have more than one perpetual creator? Allah says what means, If there had been in the heavens and on the earth other deities besides Allah, both the heavens and earth would be ruined. Chapter 21 Verse 22. Allah did not reveal many religions. Allah sent prophets with one message. He didn't send them with a variety of messages. As Allah said, we sent to every nation a messenger calling them to worship Allah alone and to avoid the worship of false gods. One God one human race, one message. But what is the rationale beyond the impossibility of having more than one creator in concordance with each other and without clashing decisions? The question is not about issuing two clashing decisions so the universe would be ruined or about being in agreement so the universe would remain intact. The rationale presented by this previous verse is far and beyond any of this. Having another creator besides Allah necessitates composition, multiplicity of essences and causes, and composition necessitates need. So, if we assume, Allah forbid, that the deity has a need, this would provide an insecure universe that is susceptible to collapse without any guarantees or reasons since the deity is in need. So exalted is Allah, Lord of the throne, above what they describe, chapter 21, Verse 22, Allah is exalted above any composition or need, since he is self-sufficient and self-subsisting. Add to all this, if there were two deities or more, the probability of disagreeing stands more to reason than concordance all the way. Having more than one essence, more than one will, and more than one determination means that each one of them is in need, and need necessitates convergence. Those who have said that Allah is the third of three have actually disbelieved and they've exited from the fold of submission. Allah says, no, the God is only one. The creator, the worshipped one is only one, singular. He is not a part of a trinity. Allah says, the issue of trinity does not make sense to those who have intellect. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all a deeper understanding. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, after he makes mention of himself, he says, Look at the creation of Allah. Allah says, He is the one who has created absolutely everything. So render your acts of worship to him alone. Subhanallah. May Allah make us from those who are conscious of this. الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد I'm forever reacting to interesting stuff. Um, I like um how being told that there's only one God, one human race, 
and one message which is something that we ourselves have to have to um accept they also made mention of the trinity i really don't understand the trinity i've never followed it i've never paid that much attention to it and i think i once mentioned in my videos i was taught how it came about in one of my political science was it political science I'm not even sure what class it was, but I was taught about it, how it came about. So it's really up to us to go out there and find information. There's videos like this that are going to put it plain and simple, but others always like um, having it explained more. Otherwise, there'll forever be one God, one human race, and one message. If the message is the same, why do you have to say do we have to hate on one another? No, we don't have to. The message should actually help us unite. And we're one human race. No one is better than the other person. I'm not better than you. you you're you not better than me. If anything, um, we're the same. Not the same in characteristic ways. No, no, not that. Otherwise, you and I are human. That's what matters. So we should look at that before we look at other things uh, and we end up oppressing the other person. Let's love one another and always remember to praise god because we have we're living these beautiful li lives so let me know what you think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video